So we've kind of done the like initial voicing in this middle section, which is which is where I want to start because that that's that's like what that's obviously the heart of the piano right here where most of the play takes place. I like to kind of feather it so that, so it's a little bit brighter up at the top. Otherwise, you're going to kill it. And I've had I've had people that will that will complain like there's nothing up here. You know, it doesn't have power. Like this is this is too much. That's too much piercing. But but if we go too far, like if we go as far on the voicing up here that we did here, people will complain about that. So so kind of feather it a little bit brighter towards the top, and then you can also feather it a little bit brighter towards the bottom as you go down. So here. section but not much we're pretty close and you can hear the transition to the place this a where we haven't done any voicing pretty obvious right so that's nasally meow and it's and this is more of a ma you know, it just sounds nasally and it's brighter. It's just more obnoxious, aggressive. Okay, so the question was posed. So now we're going to do steam. The question was posed, why don't we go right to steam? Because it is, it's more convenient. It's not, you know, it's not as dangerous to poke yourself and end up bleeding all over the hammers, which has happened many times. You don't break needles, which is just a hassle to change needles, or and then to extract the old needle from the hammer. Um, it. Uh, why else? It you get you get a lot of power, a lot of uh, effect very quickly with steam. So all of those things seem like seem like benefits, except that that steam tends to be less permanent. It, it comes back after the, after the steam within the hammer dries. It tends to be less controllable from hammer to hammer. Um, why else? I guess those are the big ones. Anyway, let's, let's do it though. Maybe on this one we'll do a combination of, of of steam to kind of bring the overall bass line up here down and then we'll use needles to kind of finish it off to get it to get it more consistent from note to note. I think you also just kind of run the risk of of killing the hammer much more. Oh why don't we get a hear it. So we voiced up to we haven't done that note. Start at E. And here again, we're just going to start on the shoulders.
Yeah. Mixed results and maybe I'll just get rid of the water in this lower section. Then I can have less less fabric between the iron and the hammer. I'm guessing this is going to be a lot more. <laughs> nope. What's that? These are? That's water. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you can see that when it dries completely, it, it uh, it'll come back. Not not entirely. It'll come back maybe half of of what it was. Would it be a good idea to overdo it? I have done that a lot. <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit scary to overdo it, but. Yeah, I've definitely done that. Let's try the back. And give it a little bit more steam. Right on the top. Which you never do, of course. I'm just kidding. So it's starting to get a little bit worrisome here. Possibly going a little bit too far. You can hear obvious difference between those two, right? So that one we've done. That one we haven't done. You see how it's just kind of uncontrollable? The steam is just kind of... It's easy to to go too far and then there's one section that needs a little bit more and, and it's just kind of a, a shotgun approach, I guess. Nicer? Yeah. Yeah. Bearable to play? Yeah. 